A very good evening. Welcome to San Rafael. I'm John Anderson. First of all, apologies for the delay in the kickoff to this uh, second match. It's due to the fact that the Brazilian team arrived late at the stadium. They were struggling through the local traffic when news reached them of the draw between Mexico and Portugal, which has qualified them for the final. Understandably, they make changes to the team. 17-year-old defender Lucas and midfielder Eric Lima, who's 18, start for the first time, as does the more experienced midfielder Rafinha, who's already made three senior appearances for Barcelona and whose father, Mazzinho, was a World Cup winner in 1994. The referee is from the United States, Kevin Terry. The Nigerians can still get a place in the third place playoff if they win tonight and beat Portugal in their final match and Mexico don't beat Belgium. It's a long shot, but uh, they've made many changes as well. Only five survived from the uh, draw with Belgium. Goalkeeper John Felaga, just 18 years old, no, 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 and striker Ettor Daniel make their first appearances in this Toulon tournament. Brazilian captain in the absence of Doria is the goalkeeper Alisson, who's one of three ever presents, along with Jao Schmidt, the midfield player, and Yuri Mahmoud, who's one of a cluster of players now sharing the top scorer status with two goals apiece. He was uh, joined today by Jose Abella of Mexico and Alaje of Portugal, both of whom scored twice in the game that preceded this one. His teammate Vinicius Araujo also has two, as does Jason Vergara of Colombia. Colombia await Brazil in the final on Saturday. Brazilians a little bit light on the bench. Tinga has picked up an injury that uh, keeps him out of contention. Welcome back. I'm John Anderson. It's a sunny evening in San Rafael on the south of France, and Brazil could be heading for a fourth successive win. Thanks to a goal right on half time by Eric Lima against Nigeria. In what's been a fairly nondescript encounter so far. The result as it sounds would underline Brazil's ascent into the final, which was confirmed prior to this match when Mexico drew with Portugal. It would also make it uh, well nigh impossible for Nigeria to figure in the final day's play. Giovanni is about to come on for the Brazilians. As is Talisca. Giovanni is a midfield player, as is uh, the number 21. So it's a double swap for Alexandra Gallo. There is uh, Talisca. He's uh, Based for the Bahia club, based in Salvador. He's already made 13 appearances for them, and he got a goal at the beginning of last month against Guazero in a 1-0 win. Giovanni has been very much uh, part of this uh, Toulon tournament. This is his uh, fourth appearance, second from the bench, so he's featured in every game, the Corinthians man. And uh, we are going to see Gabriel, the Santos goalkeeper as well. Alison, who was captain today, has made way for him. This is the first appearance by Gabriel, and it means that um, every single outfield player has been used by Brazil. In fact, we're going to get a raft of substitutions at half-time because Nigeria are going to... Make some as well. The man coming on there is uh, Edafe Egbedi, 19 year old who plays for Aarhus in Denmark. Also coming on is Samuel Eduok, the Dolphin striker. And they've been joined by. Oran Wiljawu Kayode, who plays in the Ivory Coast for the Mimosa side, although he's had a loan spell at Lucerne in Switzerland. So we've had six 
substitutions at half time, three for each team. I don't think it's going to help the flow of the game very much, although there wasn't a great deal of flow at all in the first half, other than a superbly taken goal by Eric Lima, which was brilliantly set up by Rafinha to give Brazil the lead. 40 minutes each way, of course, so unless Nigeria can get a victory somehow from this situation, it's uh, likely to be between Mexico and Portugal for the third place playoff match, which is likely to be against France, although that's not certain. South Korea could deny the French a place in the top four of the tournament overall if they win by three goals against the United States. Here come Nigeria early in the second half. It's a real chance. And it was uh, wasted by the man who's just come on, Edafe Egbedi. Might have shot initially, delayed, tried to look for a teammate and end up passing it straight back to Brazil. But it was a good break down the uh, left-hand side. And it looks like the goalkeeper, Gabriel, who's just come on, might have a rather busier time of it than his predecessor. If he'd have struck that, Egbedi, he might have um, given Nigeria parity in this match. But his inability to do so means that Brazil still lead by a goal to nil. Brazil's first chance to get forward, but uh, Nigeria has snuffed that out. Here's uh, Shehu, spent most of the first half receiving treatment on various injuries. Strike for goal. He is hit by Olaitan Michael, but uh, off target from the Olympiakos player. Recently joined them from another Greek club, Veria, with whom uh, he had a lengthy and successful spell. 62 appearances, 14 goals. He's still only 20. First real effort of any note by the Nigerians, and it came two minutes into the second half, and it was a long way off target. Brazil looking to preserve their 100% record in this Toulon tournament. This is uh, Oletan Michael again. It's been a lively start to the second half. It was very, very sluggish for the opening 35 minutes of the first. Long kick up towards Vinicius Araujo, who hasn't had a chance really to add to his two goals in the tournament so far. The ball given away by the substitute Talisca. And we're going to get a yellow card here. That's Giovanni, he's just come on. He's been uh, booked by Kevin Terry, the American referee. That's why. Late slide, upending Ikechukwu Akori. He's been on three and a half minutes, Giovanni, and he's picked up a booking. Speedy break forward is by Kayode. And here's Gero. Still only scored one goal in the tournament, Nigeria. He's the player who's got it. Scored against Belgium. More than that, they've uh, beaten 2-0 by Mexico on the opening day. They've still got a game against Portugal to come, the Nigerians. It's worked across towards this uh, near side, but I don't think it's going to be kept in. Despite the best efforts of uh, 
Abdullahi Shehu bounces away and Brazil have a throw in. Five minutes of the second half have elapsed. It's a fairly routine exercise for Brazil, who's Passage into the final was rubber stamped by Mexico, Mexico and Portugal in the preceding game, which finished 3-3. Draw meant that neither of those two sides could win the group. Quickly taken free kick by the Niger Nigerians. This is Eduok. It's wildly ambitious and equally off target from the... Dolphin striker who used to play for Aqua United, 19 year old. Alexandra Gallo is the Brazilian coach who's been given the job of trying to resurrect uh, the under 20, under 21 scene. It's not been a golden period for them. A mistake, and a foul is committed by Lucas as he upended Egbedi. Free kick to Nigeria. He lost the ball and then took the man out with his uh, right knee. Opportunity for Nigeria to get what would only be their second goal of the tournament. Is nodded away from the free kick by Eduok, and suddenly Brazil may break here. It's a searching crossfield ball that finds Vinicius Araujo. Cross into the box is uh, well defended. It was an excellent ball initially into the space in front of Araujo, who was very alive to it. Free kick is uh, given for the foul there by Lucas Faria. Indeed handballed, perhaps, by Lucas Faria. by Moses Okuma. After a pacey opening, a couple of minutes, he's gone off the boil again, this one. Giovanni's lost his boot in the process. But the referee wants him to move away and sort it out and allow the play to uh, continue, but he's standing right in front of the ball at the moment hunched right in front of the ball. Clearances by Lucas. <laughs> Shehu finds Gero. Nigeria trying to find a way through the Brazilian rear guard at the moment. This is good play by them. Oh, it's off the post and surely in. Ghetto has netted, but uh, it's not going to count. Ghetto thought he'd got his second goal of the tournament. The whistle had already blown. The ball came back off the post. Ghetto was there. Oh, was he offside when the ball came in? Maybe just. He's got his front foot there. No, he looked maybe level there. It's a controversial decision. And Ghetto's not very happy with it, but uh, Kevin Terry's word is law, and it's still 1-0 to Brazil. Here's Egbedi winning a throw-in off Douglas Santos, the left-back from Nautico in Recife.
nicely done by uh, Madhu. Ball in from the right hand side towards, from the left towards Guerrero. Couldn't get a touch that time, having seen his previous strike on goal ruled out somewhat contentiously for offside. There he is, Guerrero, scorer of the only Nigerian goal remains. Their lone scorer in this tournament. Now Brazil's turn to come forward. Vinicius Araujo looking to get goal side. It was a good sliding challenge, though, which denied him. And the Nigerians working the ball from the back. It's a decent ball over the top, and it's uh, almost controlled, but uh, not quite by Polarinwaju Kayode. Away by Lucas. Taliska in centre midfield. This is uh, Lucas Faria. Foul on him. First half was uh, disrupted by the number of free kicks that were conceded. The subsequent stoppages made it a rather unappealing watch, really. Yellow card for Samuel Ediwok, who's just come on. So two of the half-time substitutes have now been booked, he and Giovanni. Had nearly 12 minutes of the second half. There's Moses Simon, he's been very quiet for Nigeria, the player who has agreed to join Ajax, having been previously linked with Spurs and Liverpool, put pen to paper with the Dutch Giants and will join them in the summer when he turns 18. Here's Gero, and he has found the net this time, and it will count, and Nigeria have levelled things up against Brazil. Douglas Santos bypassed. And John Obu's side have an equaliser. Lost the ball. Douglas Santos caught in possession. Guerrero did really well, and what a lovely finish that is. It's his second goal of the tournament. It's Nigeria's second goal of the tournament. But it's come against the group leaders and Toulon finalists. And having had one chalked out for offside. Malahay. Gero gets the goal he wanted. Big thumbs up to the bench. 1-1 one, one now. Goal coming in the 13th minute of the second half. We're going to see the arrival of uh, Luan. He plays for Portuguesa in Sao Paulo. He's another of the new young contingent for Brazil, just 17 years old. In his second appearance of the tournament, Luan. He's a player who was part of the disappointing South American under 20 performance. He's going to replace Taliska, who was one of the players who came on. So it's a substitute replacing a substitute. Taliska's. <laughs> has only lasted 14 minutes he's gone off the 21 there disappointment for him had a chance today to try and demonstrate what he could do to Alexandra Gallo but it's all ended in injury here's Rafinha trying to steer the ball out wide towards Araujo but Nigeria with their wind in their sails after getting that equaliser and uh, the referee's got some sorting out to do Danilo involved in the challenge with Coyote. Some yellow card for him, so half-time substitutes aren't faring particularly well. Three of them have been booked, two Nigerians and a Brazilian, and uh, another has already left the field injured. 
very inspired substitutions at the moment. The ball clipped forward by Joubal, but it's uh, too long. That's the situation in this final group match as far as Brazil are concerned. They qualified with this game to spare, so the outcome other than in terms of preparation and team spirit is largely academic. Nigeria would be thrilled though if they could be the only well, the first team, the only team in the group to take points off the Brazilians. It means that uh, if this one's drawn, Colombia would have a chance to finish with a 100% record. They play the Congo Democratic Republic tomorrow. It's a clever little flick by Egbedi. Sliding in goes Shehu, but Brazil managed to clear. Douglas Santos, whose error led to that goal, throws in. It's only the second goal that Brazil have conceded in the tournament. They won't want to concede another, but here's uh, Shehu. Low ball in. Opportunity. And the shot by Samuel Eduok is blocked on the edge of the box. But this is a uh, lively spell for Nigeria. But Brazil has always had the capacity to counter-attack, but uh, not with Eric Lima's mistake. This goal cancelled out by Guerrero. There's another player. It's now seven who've scored two goals in the tournament. Oh, this there on uh, Edafi Egbedi. And, uh, five appearances for Aarhus, who won the Danish title last season. Here's Vinicius Araujo trying to get to the ball, and that's a foul by him, and that may be a yellow card as well. It was a rather silly challenge. And it's uh, upended Kingsley Madu. Alexandre Gallo is pleading innocence on behalf of his uh, striker. And it's going to be a yellow card, and Araujo would be well advised to stop walking away, otherwise he'll get another one for descent. Another booking then, we've had a rash of them in this second half. Araujo and Giovanni booked for Brazil. Coyote and Eduok for Nigeria. That was a needless challenge, really. He's apologising for an error that he's uh, feels that he's made himself, but uh, plays back underway. Here's Araujo, muscled his way through, but took two Nigerians to stop him. This is uh, Jubal. Faria. That's nicely done by Brazil, but uh, Giovanni can't quite capitalise on it. Well, Cannon's back off Giovanni, and it's come all the way back to John Falago, who's had a pretty quiet game. The 18-year-old uh, Nigerian goalkeeper in his first appearance. No chance with the beautifully taken goal by Eric Lima. But he hasn't really had any saves to make as yet. Or has uh, his new opposite number, Gabriel, at the moment, but he might hear. Here's Egbedi chasing with uh, Douglas Santos, who this time does the right thing and gets the ball out of play. He was caught in possession in the move that led to the goal. Both goals very well taken. Eric Lima for Brazil, Guerrero for Nigeria. Here's uh, Vinicius Araujo. Have a little turn by Luan, who's just come on. Three 
Three quarters of the match has now elapsed, one apiece. We had uh, one goalless draw in the entire tournament. That was France against South Korea. In the end, that was a significant result because uh, had France won that, and their defeat against uh, Colombia might not have been quite as calamitous. They would probably have not reached the final, but they would have had hope, whereas now they've completed their four fixtures, the French, and are hoping that South Korea don't produce something extraordinary against America, because if they do, then the Koreans could end up in the third-place playoff match, and uh, the tournament organisers will not want France absent on the final Saturday. Here's a ball in. And it's just toe poked wide by Oloramwaju Kayode. Got there first at the near post. Had a little spell with uh, Dinamo Minsk in Belarus, Kayode, earlier this year, but didn't quite work out. He's also made four appearances in the Swiss Super League for Lucerne and he's now applying his trade in the Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, incidentally, are the only African nation to have won this Toulon tournament. They were victorious three years ago, beating Denmark. Nigeria won't be emulating that. If they can get another goal, they could theoretically make it into the third and fourth place playoff. It's a long shot and a lot of things would have to go their way. What they would need really is a win rather than a draw. A draw would put them on two points and fourth in the group behind Mexico and Portugal who have four apiece. Offside against Luan. Faria finds Jubal. This is Lucas, the 18 year old, 17 year old, I should say, centre half. Very, very tall man. Jubal and Lucas just playing it amongst themselves at the moment. Here is Lucas. Killed by Douglas Costa, but not with any accuracy. Jai. Tidies up for all Nigeria. Here's Shehu. He's taking free kick a little bit too quick. Jubal forward to Giovanni. He's a skillful player. I haven't seen a great deal of him since he came on as a sub. A bit of trickery there. Here's uh, Rafinha finding Danilo. Poor ball by him. Here's Gero. That wide is Shehu. Okuma. Header away by Faria. And then, oof, dear me. Nice little flick ahead initially by Eric Lima, who then got caught in the face. Just dropped a little bit deeper in the second half, Eric Lima, because of the arrival of uh, Luan, who's gone up more alongside Vinicius Araujo as the support striker. This is Luan. I almost lost the ball there. I think it has been given Nigeria's way. I think Lucas Correa was a bit confused for a moment about which uh, team had been awarded that free kick. Here's Shehu. Giovanni wins it in midfield for Brazil. Here's Rafinha. Giovanni again, Rafinha just moves it across. It's gone out of play. It was missed by Douglas Santos. Ah. 
the goal kick. Despite a scream of anguish from Kayode. Fifteen minutes left in San Rafael at the Stade Louis. We'll be back here tomorrow for the conclusion of Group A, South Korea against the USA, followed by Colombia, who will play fin the final against Brazil on Saturday against Congo DR. Well, Korea get a three-goal victory against the USA. That will be a crushing result for the French, who have taken seven points from their four games in the group. South Korea would join them on seven, but they have to match them goal difference-wise. And they would need three goals to do that without reply. Here's uh, Luan for Brazil, just teases it infield to Giovanni, who's brought down. Now this is an opportunity for the Brazilians. Free kick in inviting territory, just a couple of metres outside the penalty area. Foul was... Uh, Committed by Olaitan Michael. Too much doubt about it. Now then, Giovanni, Lucas Faria, both standing over the ball. Here's uh, Giovanni. John Falaga is very, very vocal. The defender who plays for Yupen in the Belgian second division. It's going to be Giovanni to strike it. Curls beautifully and just too high. Well struck by the Corinthians playmaker. Powerful bending but not dipping enough. And Falaga was able to wave it over the crossbar. Still 1-1 one -one then with uh, 12 and a half minutes left to play. Brazil heading for the final with the luxury of resting key players. That will be true of the Colombians, I'm sure, tomorrow against uh, DR Congo. Likely to be a similar sort of match to this one, I would have thought. I'm sure key figures will be rested by Carlos Restrepo, the Colombian coach. I must say I'm looking forward to the final. I do think that the full-strength Brazilian team and their Colombian counterparts have been the two most creative and best Footballing sides in this competition so far. Colombia looking to win it, of course, for the second time in three years, having beaten the French on penalties. Here's a chance for Vinicius Araujo to get his third goal of the tournament. Trying to go round his man. He needs support here and he hasn't got very much at the moment. Finds it in the shape of Douglas Santos. It's back with Araujo. There was appeals for offside. The flag was late in coming but it did come in the end scored in both of brazil's opening games there he was quite a long way offside actually but the uh, first brazil goal against belgium and then got the winner in the first half against mexico the foundation for Brazil's run into the final. Here's Rafinha. Looks a quality player. Giovanni to Lucas Faria. This is better from Brazil. And then a foul on Eric Lima. Samuel Eduok, who's already been booked. Lucas Ferreira is a likely candidate to try and maybe curl the ball in from that right flank. Short of 10 minutes left to play. It's going to be maybe Douglas Santos to deliver the free kick. He hasn't delivered it very well. It's gone straight to the goalkeeper who needed two attempts to field it. 
Ball was played way too close to the red-shirted keeper, who just about clung on. Well, do Brazil feel as if they need to win this game or not, really, is the question in the last ten minutes, or whether Nigeria... Theoretically, have something to gain from a victory, unlike the Brazilians. Can they uh, maybe just shift up a gear? They haven't created very much other than the equalising goal, which was scored by Guerrero early in this half. It is awarded against Vinicius Araujo, who plays for Cruzeiro. Got his first goal for that club back in March. He's now made five appearances at senior level. by Jubal. Quickly taken free kick. This is Egbedi. He's got support from Shehu if he needs it. He's come in field instead for Okuma. Here is Shehu now. Okuma again, but Brazil have got players back. who will try and get distance with the throw in. Who did that come off? It's come off Danilo. It'll be a corner to Nigeria. Can they become the first team to beat Brazil at Toulon this year? Samuel Edo up will take the corner. Uh, claimed quite comfortably by Gabriel. Big centre half got up to have an attempt at goal. Semi Ajay, the Charlton man. It was a straightforward save by Gabriel, his first since uh, coming on, really. Didn't have a chance with uh, Guerrero's goal, which was expertly taken. Douglas Santos, nice little flick over the top to Vinicius Araujo. Crossfield ball by him and Brazil looking purposeful here. The ball through the middle, though, is uh, too far ahead of Rafinha. And Felaga is able to claim quite comfortably. It's come off the top of Douglas Santos' head, but harmlessly so. Six minutes left in San Rafael. Brazil won, Nigeria won. Egbedi. A bit of space here down the right hand side for Guerrero. Again, Brazil have managed to get players back in, but uh, Shehu may have a chance for a cross here. Won't go for a corner kick. Away by Lucas. Luan can't control it. Ajay plays it forward. Coyote. Torre by Jubal.
as Santos drives it forward. It's nicely controlled by Vinicia Saraujo. Finds Giovanni. Tries to get a shot in. It just flicked on its way through, so the goalkeeper needed to get down there to make sure it didn't go for a corner. Wasn't very strong. Well struck by Giovanni. Yes, Araujo goes for the return pass and gets it. There's a lot of space for him here down this left-hand side. Goes for goal. But, uh, the intervention of a defender takes all of the sting out of the shot. There's a Nigerian gone down with cramp in front of uh, Vinicius Araujo. We have uh, three and a half minutes to go. The injured player is... inevitably Abdullahi <laughs> Shehu. It's a miracle that he's got this far because he's uh, suffered probably half a dozen injuries that have left him on the deck, but he's soldiered on. And at the moment, it looks like Nigeria will become the first team at the Toulon tournament to stop Brazil winning. It won't help them very much in the bid to get into the third and fourth place playoff. They would have two points from three games. That's two fewer than Mexico and Portugal have. But if they were to beat Portugal and Mexico were to lose to Belgium, then Nigeria could still qualify. So it's not in their hands by any means. But again, it gives them something to play for on the uh, final round of matches in Group B, which take place on Thursday. Unless, of course, they can get a winner here, which would uh, change things dramatically. It doesn't look like it at the moment, though. Brazil have the ball. It's swung across to Jubal, whose touch finds Lucas Faria. Ball in by the right back. Flicked on by Luan, who was backing into his man. We're going to have a uh, substitution here. Signaled by the referee. Well, poor old uh, Abdullahi Shehu has finally succumbed to his injury and uh, is replaced by Abubakar Hassan, who started the last game. Okuma's lost it. And that could be costly, and here come Brazil. It's a poor first touch by Luan. He hasn't really covered himself in glory since he came on. As a substitute, it's a rather gangly striker. Doesn't appear to have as good a touch as some of his teammates. Final minute then in San Rafael. Looks for all the world as if honours are going to be even between Brazil and Nigeria. Giovanni just uh, enjoying the joke there with uh, Ikechukwu Okori. Oh, free kick to Nigeria might make things interesting in the final moments. Douglas Santos, who committed the foul on Edafe Egbedi. The kick will be taken by Hassan, who's just come on. He's got a bit of sorting out to do in the goal mouth area with a little bit of arguing and Toing and throwing going on. Guerrero is involved, as is Lucas, who's now wearing the captain's armband. That's why there was a flare up there between Giovanni and Egbedi. Three minutes of added time. Hassan's free kick is a rather poor one that's comfortably dealt with at the near post. And Brazil look to get forward here with Vinicius Araujo. 
Knocked away from him by Olatan Michael. This is Douglas Santos finding Lucas, who at the age of uh, 17 finds himself captaining the Brazilian under 21 team, which is a great honour for him. The ball clipped forward by Santos, but a decent header back to his goalkeeper. And we've had uh, just over a minute of the added on time. Kuma looking for her Sam, but it's a misplaced pass. Rafinha has just been named man of the match. So it has been a fairly eye catching performance by him in a match which largely hasn't been particularly easy on the eye. The referee is having a busy time. There is the uh, recipient of that award. Rafinha. And I'd expect a player who's played three times with the Barcelona first team. Maybe to shine in this would accompany. Maybe there'll be one more chance for Brazil to match a fourth successive victory in this tournament. Lucas Faria will deliver the ball from out wide. John Obu will consider it a great result if they can hang on for 1-1. One, one. Farias delivery. Two defenders go up and the goalkeeper claims under pressure. That may well be that. Here's Hassan. Full time, Brazil end their group campaign with a draw. Three times winners, but uh, unable to secure the victory here. It didn't matter though, because Alexandra Gallo's team were already through to the final before we kicked off. They took the lead right on half time. Eric Lima with a splendidly taken goal, but an equally well crafted equaliser scored by Guerrero gave Nigeria a share of the spoils. They still have a very, very outside chance of reaching the third and fourth place playoff. What we do know as a result of today's two matches is that it will be Brazil against Colombia in the final on Saturday. It's finished here at the Stade Louis in San Rafael. Brazil won, Nigeria won.